Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo where we have a heckin' lot of ducks. Oh my gosh, we actually have a ton of ducks. Um, and I think we might need to go through, oh look at the tiny little baby mallard. Okay, that is ridiculously cute. Uh, but I do think we might need to go through and actually like prevent this many ducks from going ahead and having babies because the hygiene is just constantly filthy and we're not really getting close. Okay, let's go ahead and buy all of the food supplies we need and we're not really getting close to making progress on some new duck breeds that we're trying to cover oh i totally didn't realize we have enough ducks to go ahead and make a crossbreed animal oh that's so exciting <laughs> But welcome, welcome back everyone. So last time we left off with trying to get enough cows. And I have good news. It turns out not only did we manage to go ahead and get one of our female cows. <gasps> Look at that. Yes. And she has gone ahead and had a very special baby. But she is going to have a baby Amy very soon. But it turns out tucked away in another one of the nurseries, we actually have Flash the female. So we did indeed actually have some um some a female cow already i just didn't know that she was up here so we're gonna actually pause her having babies up at this breeding center and move her down into what i am going to formally call the holy cow nursery which i think we might actually move down here and we might turn this area into maybe another eating court to celebrate the fact that we now have eggs i have no idea what we're going to be doing with these eggs if I'm completely honest, I quite literally don't know like where we're going to take them, what we're going to do with them. However, we do have the store man who is coming, I think, to pick up a bunch of the eggs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he just collected a ton of the eggs. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe increase his job wages just to see if we can make him a little happier. Uh, and we do need to hire somebody here as a job posting. So let me see if we have, so job postings. I wanna hire someone, there's seven applicants. Oh, and it looks like you can see like new applicants because we are trying to discover 60 unique types of employees. Workplace for all. You're lined up to win the Equality Employer of the Year award, award, but first I need you to employ 60 unique employees across different jobs. Okay, so that's one of the things we need to do. So I guess if we go ahead and look here, these might be like the unique people we could hire for the job. I like Garrett's hat, I think, but Garrett doesn't seem to have like the wor best work ethic. However, Zachary has terrible work ethic. Get out of here, Zachary. And then Abe also has a cool hat <gasps> and he's got really good work ethic and everything. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hire him. And so Abe is going to be our new egg manager. However, I'm still at a loss. Hang on, let's build a zoo eggs. I wanna see what happens. What can we do <laughs> with the eggs? Cause that's a good question. I'm not sure. All right, it doesn't say anywhere on Google just yet what we can do with the eggs, but we're gonna continue to try to just like collect from our chicken coop um, and get some new species of chickens. I really wanna unlock a whole bunch more species of chickens so I can make some chicken crossbreeds. So I guess that should be one of my next goals, um, which means I wonder if it would be good to go ahead and put down another nursery. Honestly, I just need to go ahead, breed pairs, and find out what chickens we need. So in order to get the newest chicken, we need these gray-faced chickens. Two gray-faced chickens will make a new chicken. And then one gray-faced chicken and one, um, we'll call this like brown chicken, will make a new chicken as well. So let's actually make a new pen over here. That would be a good idea, I think. Yeah, we'll make a new pen enclosure. It'll be a little grass enclosure. Uh, we're gonna have the path come over here so people can come and see our little chicken pen. It doesn't have to be huge, I don't think. And we'll try to make it so, here, we'll put like the, okay, you can't see anything here. <gasps> Wait, but we have those new lamp, lamp posts. Oh, and, but also this gas lamp is kind of cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, actually that's pretty adorable. Okay, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, and then what's this? Buses all around have at least 80% bus collection. Interesting. All right, we need to work on some of our quests as well. I am not going to be feeding dead people to our pigs. Thank you very much, McAfee, but no. 
Um, and then let's do maybe a gas lamp there so people can see what's going on because I want them to see how cute our chickens are. Look at this grass lamp and this dandy lamp. Oh, that looks so magical. I cannot wait to decorate with those. All right, but let's see. We'll get some of the wood planking down so that people can actually come and take care of our chickens and they can walk past the little path we have here. There we go. And now that should help our staff walk a little bit faster. And I'm gonna need to get maybe a new, oh, a ticket price, eh? Our ticket price is too low. Okay, let's adjust that so we can take better care of our animals. Uh, let's go for 40. And we'll see how that plays out. All right, and then let's see if we can get the correct types of chickens. So we really want like nutmeg. She would be moved over here. And then, yeah, nutmeg being moved is a good thing because she's a gray-faced chicken. We want two gray-faced chickens. I already have a female. So here's Marble, a uh, gray-faced male. And then we want to get some of, so then we would want maybe whiskey as the, a the brown faced female. And we'll try that out and see if we'll get the correct mix. We'll move over one more gray faced male, I think. So we'll move over Sawyer. And then that should give us the appropriate collection of different chimkins so that we'll be able to go ahead and have some healthy, happy animals. Also, I need to get some more water in here for these animals. So hopefully that'll help. And then let's come over and take care of these guys. Hello, my happy chimkins. Here's, oh, I need to get a water thing here. Okay, so we need to get them some water like ASAP. Okay, whoa. Which means I need to install the facility. It is a water pump. So we're gonna install a little hidden water pump over here. I'll put it right here actually. And we'll just do the usual where I hide it behind a tall tree. And I think that'll work out really well. And then I kind of love the idea of just having the long grass <laughs> as decoration as you walk up to the chickens. All right, and maybe a little planter. Cause come on, they're cute little chimkins. Here we go. Oh, I love chickens so much. So hopefully that'll start giving us some of the crossbreed chickens. And we need to give them a little bit of enrichment as well. So I'm gonna give them a big leaf pile. That actually is great for them. And then we need to go ahead and maybe adjust what kind of food do they eat here. So current diet, let me check. Okay, no, they're gonna be fed, thankfully, all of the food that the other chickens are given. So they should be good there. And then I'm gonna need a new keeper who's actually going to be assigned to these chickens. Um, and then I wanna have like a field of chicken crossbreeds. <laughs> That's one of my eventual goals, is just to have this giant field of chicken crossbreeds. And the cows! Look, we have the new cow, you guys! Okay, it's jumping with all of the chickens. But it's Snowflake! So this is the new type of cow that we actually have. And it's a boy. So is that the cow we need? Unfortunately, that is not the cow that we need in order to go ahead and be able to trade to Tokyo for platypus. So we still are working on getting the correct type of cow. Who is blocked? These monkeys! I have no idea what these monkeys have been doing lately, but they have just been making it chaotic so that like keepers cannot get around or they're getting blocked quite often. My suspicion is that the monkeys are actually up to no good. And we have a new variant of Badger! Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I think it's in the breeding area. Right over here! Check that out, you guys! We have a new baby badger! Yes! A new badger type unlocked. Um, that's really fantastic. We do need to go ahead and potentially trade that mama badger for a couple bears. So I think once we're done here we're actually going to pause the breeding on this so that we can maybe replace some badgers yeah there's so many infinite number of little projects you could get into it's probably a good thing that i've been trying to focus us on one thing at a time all right but now back to the cows because i really want to get the platypus because my sister loves them so much and oh we have one of the chickens is already pregnant yes oh my gosh 
So pregnancy, two hours, two minutes. Okay, good. So, wow, that did not take very long. Whiskey is expecting. Nutmeg. Nutmeg is too old to have children. Oh, okay. We're going to go ahead and donate Nutmeg so she can have a new home. I'm glad I noticed that. And then let's see if we have another Daisy May. All right, Daisy May, she is the correct age. So Daisy May will probably give us uh, the chicken children we're going for. And now I'm kind of wondering, like, I want to put in, like, chicken crossbreeds and cool animals down here. Hmm. But who? Because I haven't made any, like, DNA slices yet. Guys, what about doing a goose and a pig? Just because we can. Let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five animals. Um, so I'm going to do, I kind of want to do, like, a farm animal. So maybe a pig. And I'm gonna roll my my dice. I, my beloved husband Chips just got me some amazing new dice that actually have tiny chickens inside of them. They're resin dice. And whoops, I just dropped the one <laughs> that actually has the egg inside. There's a mama chicken, a bunch of little chicks, and then there's a dice that has um, just an egg inside that's a D4. So I'm gonna roll the D4 and we're gonna pick one, two, one, two, three, four from the available animals to make a pig crossbreed just because we probably should a bunny okay so let's do a pig and a bunny and then we're gonna make that in the crisper because i should probably always be crispin i'm gonna be honest meanwhile i don't think we need to have this many meerkats i turned my back for like one minute we're gonna put them all on contraceptives and just kind of ride that out all right and then how are my how's my chicken doing whiskey Oh, she had the tiniest little baby named Butta. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move him. He's too young to conceive, but we're gonna scooch him over because he is not the variant we were looking for. Whoa, what? <laughs> Closer than we think. The future's here. So planning of our spaceship is going well. We have been playing a lot of space games like No Man's Sky and EVE Online, so I think we know how to progress. But we still need more investment. We can sell you some prefer preferential shillers for 10,000. I think I'm good. I like being on the ground. All right, so now hopefully that'll work better with our chickens and we have kind of isolated our chickens in. Oh, I see, so she had a mate in a different, Daisy Mae was already pregnant with another chicken's baby. That's why Whiskey actually ended up having a chicken that wasn't the chicken we were supposed to go for. Also, the monkeys are being ridiculous. I really think they're actually going ahead and they're like wrecking that enclosure. We might have to check in on the monkeys in a little bit here. All right, but all of this has been me trying to get some cows. So speaking of which, we're gonna come over, we're gonna return these cows and we're gonna return those hyena. We'll work on more breeding pairs of animals in a second, but this is gonna be the holy cow breeding center. And now we're gonna go ahead and breed these cows right here. So we have one of the red cows and one of the uh, like spotted cows. And then we have two spotted cows. Whoops. All right, I didn't make that go all the way through. Okay, there we go, confirm. And then we're gonna do infinite. I just need lots and lots of cows, please. <laughs> and then we have a baby red cow right over here who's got two more days. So working hard on trying to get those cows so we can get platypus. Happy about that. Uh, and I think we will make a... Oh, I need to hire a zookeeper. But the reason I haven't hired a zookeeper over here is because I was trying to make a second exhibit really quickly that I wanted to kind of sneak over here that would have some cows. Let's see, do I want to do it like this? Yeah. All right, so uh, this is going to be like the second little exhibit. In, or this is going to be for like cows and crossbreeds, basically. I want to have some crossbreeds and I want to have some cows at an enclosure. I'm going to change the shape just a pinch to make it a tiny bit bigger. And this will be where we put the, the pigu when the pig is ready to go. All right. And now I'm going to hire a new zookeeper and make them be in charge of taking care of these chickens. Also possibly need to put in another subway. So we might just do the red subway with the flowers again, right over here. And that'll get us closer to being able to haul the chicken eggs to who knows where. I don't really know where our chicken eggs are going. Up to the storehouse, I suppose. 
We've got six eggs here. So products sold, current sell cost, $18. So I guess maybe we just make some money on the eggs. So yeah, yesterday we sold seven eggs. I guess I could go ahead and add in a bunch of our extra female chickens over here too. Okay, I'm starting to get the vibe of how we can kind of make this work. And since we're working on crossbreeds, I'm gonna move over some of the horses that we're trying to go ahead and get more variants of uh, into here. However, speaking of other things we're trying to crossbreed, uh, if I was going to, oh, we have so many research points. All right, don't get distracted, Siri. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, oh, oh wow. I love our, our crossbreeds we have in here. I gotta get more of them. Um, oh dear, there's a lot of pigs. So we can already crossbreed pigs and we don't have a request for any of them. Anything unique to adopt? Oh, there's the badger! Okay, we're gonna go ahead. We have a second one of those badgers needed for the bears. I'm gonna go ahead and adopt it so we can get the bears next time. That will be fantastic. So I might leave an empty breeding place for the bears then. I definitely wanna get enough capybara that we can go ahead and start crossbreeding. And I wanna get enough horses. Hmm. We also don't have enough chickens. So you know what? I'm gonna grab some extra chickens and we're gonna go with chickens here. Okay, chickens. Let's see. Let's try getting these chickens. Confirm. Ah! Okay, I think one of my chickens is already pregnant that they're trying to just automatically select for this. Okay. Dang it. Oh, genome! Oh my gosh, we've got all the genomes on monkeys! What? We can start, or like all five, we can start having new monkeys. Well, that worked out really well for us because I just had a hands-off philosophy of leaving my monkeys alone to let them have their own babies. And I think this was the one. Oh, it looks kind of like a, a howler monkey. It is a howler monkey. Oh my gosh. All right, we'll have to celebrate by maybe expanding over here soon. We need $80,000 for that, which means I need to start making more money at some point. But we do have a little howler monkey now. Man, there's so much to do. What the heck? How do I even pick? Oh my gosh. All right, well, let me double check what I can crisp. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm cloning that cow. How many variants of duck do I have? I have five variants of duck. I have five variants of monkey, which means we can now make monkey crossbreeds. How many capybara crossbreeds do I have? Or variants do I have? All right, <gasps> there's a capybara with a fancy tail. Hold everything. All right, let's return these capybara. I want fancy tail capybara. Let's see, let's see. Do I have, there's my capybara. <gasps> fancy tail, fancy tail, fancy tail capybara. Okay, we need to go ahead. We're gonna try, confirm. Okay, I, I absolutely need a fancy tail capybara and I wanna be able to do capybara crossbreeds. So let's get a second lineup for fancy tailed capybara going. And then for horses, I wanna get horses going too. So we'll, we'll do that. There we go. All right, hopefully all of that will work out well for us. <laughs> oh yeah, and my poor chickens, they're gonna die of hunger if I don't hurry and like hire another zookeeper. Um, so let me come over and find, there's the staff. Let's hire another animal keeper. I'm gonna quick hire someone. And then, let's see. Oh, this person's great, Sharita, she seems awesome. We'll give her above average pay as usual. And then I think that's her, that's Kathleen. Okay, let's do staff. And then Sharita is right here. And we're gonna zone her for this place and this place. And then make it so she can come down here a little easier with the tiny little barns. And speaking of barns, I could go ahead and build, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> and build an adorable little old barn, getting cows from our milk of the moral way. However, we do not have very many cows. <laughs> so I need to wait till we get more cows. Um, but I do think maybe putting a cute little subway right here would be fine. So we're gonna put a subway right there. And then let me put down Let's see, decoration, decoration. The hedge arch. And here we go. There we are. Now maybe we'll have some people come and maybe like come 
check out our cows and our little pond, which is very cute if you ask me. All right, and then, yeah, that should be good. Let me do, no, we'll do it like this. There we go, all right. Well, so far, let's also see if I can grab a couple more of the horses, of courses, uh, and move them over here to just kind of be back up. Oh, look, and they're getting fed and everything's getting clean. Thank you, Shahida. Thank you. So we'll move some horses in here to try to continue to unlock the variants of horses, which would be really satisfying. Um, and to get those new variants, we need like what looks to be kind of like the palmento horse and the brown horse. So do I have like a light brown horse? I do. Vava right over here, who I could move over here. And then do I have another one of, I do. <gasps> okay, actually. And oh, Coco, okay. Move you here. And then I need so Brittany, Earl, ah, okay. I'm missing the appropriate variations for these two females to have the right horse, but I guess I'll just grab Jose or Josie actually, sorry, and move him over here. All right, now these guys don't have enough space. That's fine. We'll change the shape of the enclosure a little bit. They're gonna get a weird pig in here eventually with them. <laughs> Hopefully that'll work out fine. And let's make sure that they have enough water in their water basin. And we'll put in some nice, let's see. Oh, we could put in a little wooden shelter. Yes, okay, we'll give them a little wooden shelter. And then we'll put in some enrichment for them. They seem to love trampolines. So I'm gonna put in some trampolines and a nice big leaf pile. And then do I have anything else? I wonder if they like, the horses like chew toys. They probably like this salt block. So I'm gonna put in like a nice salt block over here. And then we'll decorate this eventually. <laughs> but this is just kind of like temporary horse establishment until we can get some more variants of horse. And I actually will check cause we need a brown, a light brown male or a spotted male that we need to add on in here for our females. Can I adopt one? The answer is no. All right. Holy moly, there's like a lot going on. And then finally, before we finish, I want to see if I can add any more, any more of our chickens in who are a little younger. April, Oakley, Gilda, Chaos, Wrinkles. I wonder how many chickens you can put in here. Like now we've like halved the time that they're going to go ahead and make more eggs for us. So we have nine in here. I have no idea how many you can put in at once, but we'll carry on and maybe we'll just keep how many eggs you would like to keep in your storeroom for your animals. Excess will be sent to the warehouse. I mean, we'll keep like 10, I guess, or eight, I guess, and just sell the rest. So we'll see how that works out. Oh my goodness. All right. So cola vendors. <laughs> You know what? I bet people could use a nice refreshing cola that we'll totally say is not actually cola. I haven't had a drink of soda. Nine years? Maybe nine or 11 years, depending on if you call a ginger ale like on an airplane. Like those I have on occasion, but I haven't had any other type of soda in like nine years. So I had to really think about that for a second. All right, let's see. I'm gonna put this maybe right back here. Yeah, I'm actually gonna hide it away. And we're gonna have it be like a little secret spot right over here. Oops, all right, let's do grass. And then we'll come over and if you walk down the little pale mud spot, you'll find the secret cola spot. Let's see. Big tree, oh, big tree to the rescue! <laughs> Oh, I love it so much, you guys. I truly do. It's so cute. 
There we go. We'll add in some lavender. But all right, there we go, you guys. Now we just need to wait and see if we're going to be able to get the right types of chimkin babies. Uh, kind of waiting on that. We have the right number of chickens. We have the right variant of chickens. We've got a lot of eggs coming in from our adorable little chicken coop, which makes me pretty happy. Uh, and then we'll need to get a lot more lights, I think, to make sure our light map really lights up the place. But we're doing it, working on some of our quests, taking care of our animals. We have a bazillion and a half unspent research points we can start using and otherwise we're unlocking a lot of cool new animals so i'm pretty happy about this but right guys if you could do please leave a like for our wonderful expanding sprawling chaos of zoo if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious oh dear <laughs> and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye